Hey guys, welcome back to part six of my Uncharted Drake's Fortune playthrough. This Elena, where are you? And this one is short, mm. but not too short. It just seems kind of short because so not much happens, but you oh, do a lot of son of a bitch. A little bit of climbing and a couple. Eh, I wouldn't say small fight scenes, but um. They do get a little bit challenging, so I'll show you how to get through those. This one basically is pretty easy. Just take those guys out, but watch out for the guy up there. Because he can hit you from the side. So, watch out where you take cover. And then you're going to want to head up here. And there's a few more guys. Uh, take those guys out. You might want to get into cover before you fight them, but uh, yeah, there's another guy over there, so it can be tricky to find cover. I went for the box, and there we go. Just take these guys out. I'm gonna go ahead and rush them. Yeah, pretty. Pretty easy, nothing too challenging. From here, you want to just walk over to where I'm going, and then we'll do a um, this little crane, this pulley system, or whatever you want to call it. And then once you get that up, you gotta go all the way back around, down the stairs, and head over to the gate. So... Pretty, um... Yeah, I haven't really talked about much in this walkthrough, my thoughts on the game. I... Out of the four Uncharted games that... I, the um the main four there's a I think there's like a couple more but out of the main four stories Drake's Fortunes is probably my least favorite but that doesn't mean I don't like it I do like it but the other ones are just better in my opinion story wise it beats the second game but the second game has a lot of um Shooting moments, and you got a quick time event here, so be ready for that. Just gotta press circle. But um, yeah, the second game I like a lot of the combat in it. There's a lot of good, good um battle sequences. Very challenging. For some reason, I get stuck up here, and I have a hard time trying to get up here. But there we go. Let's jump over here. I'm gonna do a little climbing. Jumping across. Jump up. So yeah, I guess um, like order of favorite or least favorite to favorite. I guess we'll do favorite to least favorite Uncharted games would be Uncharted Four is my favorite, and then Uncharted Two, then Uncharted Three, then. Uncharted Drake's fortune. But I do like them all. But I just like some better than others. So you just want to make your way to the top of this tower by climbing up here, going around. Just gotta press triangle, and then you can knock this guy down, pick up keys there. When you do do this part, make sure you do pay attention because if you miss those keys, you could get lost here, which is what happened to me. Luckily, not in this playthrough or this walkthrough, but um, it does happen to me a lot. So, once you get the keys, you gotta move all the way down there again. You can cut over here like I do if you want to go a little bit faster. And then there's gonna be a gate, not not like a big gate, but like a more like a 
door that you have to use the keys to open which is just right over to the left and the, the fire is a little torch also be careful pressing um what's it called circle will let you roll but um if you do it near a wall you'll take cover so careful when you do that so he's gonna make your way over here and we're gonna have a quick little um battle here which can be kind of challenging because there's a turret up there and I'll show you how to take care of it I kind of want to ignore it for now. And there's a trick to this um, when you're behind. This is obviously where you want to take cover. But you have to be in cover in a certain area. Otherwise, you will still take damage. Like, if you stay in cover in the same position I'm in right now, you will take damage from enemies shooting at you. So, when you get here, see, you're still taking hits. So. You have to move over to the left of the column and then you won't be able to take damage. So be patient whenever you um, take a lot of hits like that and go into cover and wait for your thing to help to come back up like right now. I'm gonna go here and wait. I like to use my pistol first before I switch to my rifle because it's more accurate. And I can get some guys from further distances quicker, like this. And if you do get a grenade, um, most of the time they'll only show up right there. So you can easily just go to the left and avoid them. And for the turret, as you just saw right there, I picked up a grenade launcher, which will be sitting right here next to the crate. And I can easily take out the turret. And then you just pick your rifle back up and take those guys out. However, using the grenade launcher, I don't know if this does it every single time, but for me, it messed up the turret, and I'll show you why when we get back up there, but there's a little, little kind of a problem it has. So you just want to make your way up here after you do that little crank thing. Got a shorter fight scene here, but can provide challenge. So take this guy out first. And take these guys out. It's getting a lot of headshots actually. Don't get so lucky with this guy. So you take him out. And if you don't already know or haven't caught on yet or whatever. Most of these enemies, some will be, um, like, depending on the way they look, you can tell what weapon they have. Like, these guys right here with the darker skin and the vests, they will always have a shotgun. This guy right here that I'm shooting at right now, always have a shotgun. They're the buffer guys, so if you see them, best to stay away. Keep, keep it distant. And I'm not sure about these other guys, if they have just random weapons or whatever, but um, those buffer guys will always have the, um, always have the shotgun, and they will only, only them will have the shotgun. Now this is the thing I was telling you about with the turret got messed up, when I shot it, it glitched into the top of the thing and it stuck in that position I couldn't move it so I was unable to actually hit those guys but ideally you do want to use a turret to take the guys out down there and then you just want to make your way in here and get to first cutscene huh. these aren't Spanish they're English Whoa. Fletcher, we have gone to the Great Tower. I pray that you will meet us there. Francis Drake. Wow. So you made it. But what were you plotting? 
Alright, so... Right, as soon as you're done with that, you will get an enemy to fight. So... So, shotgun guy, so be careful. Make sure you keep your eyes on him, because he can sneak up on you if you're not looking out for him. So, you make our way out here. Get a quick little, like, um... Thing, get some ammo in there. Just walk your way up here, and then you'll get a quick little... That must be Drake's whatever you call that. And then, you just want to take these guys out really quick. There'll be like four, three or four of them. Really quick. Yeah. No ammo for your pistol from these guys. But there is those micro guns and then there's this AK ammo. I don't know if the weapons are the same every single time those guys will come or if it changes up if it's completely random but um so yeah you want to climb up here go up here and then just climb up shuffle across and then you want to jump over here and then come over here now, I remember the very first time I did this mission I got stuck a uh, stuck here because I didn't know what to do it's kind of tricky with the camera angle wish they didn't do it like this but you want to get up here jump to this one and then press circle to go down a ledge and then go across go from there to there jump all the way across to this one then jump across here and jump over here go up and then all right, and then you just uh, jump on down. And then you just gotta shuffle, jump, shuffle, jump all the way across over here, and then climb up. And that's about it. That concludes this mission pretty much. So uh, thanks for watching. Keep doing this series to finish it up. And there's just one little quick part, but you gotta. Do it very quickly, otherwise you will fail and restart. This must have been Drake's. So what were you looking for, huh? Well now, that looks familiar. Huh, the ship's never left. Elena. Hey, there she is. Alright, you just quickly shoot this guy and it'll trigger another cutscene. I know I'm not a big time treasure hunter like you, but I doubt you're gonna find El Dorado in there. How'd you get yourself in this mess? Trying to rescue you, as a matter of fact. Oh, that's so sweet. Traditional sandstone, brick, and stucco. Limestone mortar, huh? How'd you get to know so much about this? My show, Episode 4, Architects of a New World. Yep, it'll just take a tug to pull these bars out. What? No, wait, are you sure? Get out of my way, puzzle! Hey, Batman, open this goddamn door! Oh, crap. <laughs> Hey, Drake. Eddie Raja. <laughs> I should have guessed. Fascinating document, huh? Seems like this Sir Francis was in my line of work. Don't flatter yourself, Eddie. <laughs> Always ready to be enemies, eh? <laughs> Tell you what. Lead me to the gold. And I just might let you live. <laughs> Is that it? Is that my deal? Die now, or help you, and die later. That's oh, a tough call, but you know what? I'll take die now. Die, Gamu! Listen to me, maggot. I was promised treasure on this goddamn rock. And now, my men are dying. They can't even go outside to take a piss without an armed guard. And I have nothing to show for it! Rawr! I am making you a fair offer. 
You help me find the treasure, and the last man alive gets the gold. And the girl, of course. The girl? Oh, Eddie, the girl's long gone. She's probably off the island by now, going for help. Dai Kujing, you were never very good at poker. I will find her. Trust me. How much trouble could one girl be? Nice work. Thanks. Uh, hey, hey, book up it too. Hang on. 